Ladies and gentlemen, I want to read you this. This is the the actually the most important, one of the most important stories pertaining to the FBI Mar-a-Lago raid, okay? Trump family watched FBI raid on security footage. New York Post, Washington Times. Trump and family watched FBI search from New York on closed, closed circuit TV. Now, what does this tell you? He has a team of attorneys. He's a billionaire. He, the way the U.S. government works, if they want to go after somebody or if they want to go after Trump, for example, or an, an average person, they would try to bankrupt that person. That's what the Mueller probe did. So they bankrupt you with endless accusations or attorney's uh, fees. And they say, well, you know what? Uh, you know, you have to testify here before Congress. You have to meet with uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation agents. We're investigating you. And so you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on legal fees, uh, money that you've saved up or money that you don't have. That's one way they try to destroy you. That's what happened in the Mueller probe. A lot of people had their lives upended because of all the money they spent trying to defend themselves against false allegations that they had this plot to collude with another country. There was never any evidence, not a shred of evidence. The, shred, the evidence was always tied to Clinton purchasing the Steele dossier or loyalists like Peter Strzok saying, we'll stop Trump. Like, we'll actually stop this man. This is what the agent, one agent, top counterintelligence official was saying. But anyway... None of the people against Trump, none of the people who conspired, because they, the people who actually colluded were government officials, media, um, you know, people who were paid by the, Clint, by the Clinton uh, campaign. They paid an FEC fine. They broke FEC laws, okay, purchasing a steel dossier with campaign money. But anyway, the people who went after Trump were never on videotape. You have to understand something. He can now sue individual agents. Trump can actually sue, because he, he, he did that with Comey, Strzok, and McCabe. They were actually, um, a judge recently removed them from the, the initial lawsuit. But imagine if Trump had video footage of them or audio, you know, tape recordings. I mean, they have it. He, he already has text messages, Strzok, for example. And there's other people, too. There's numerous agents, okay, that have text messages or emails stating that they have utter contempt for Trump. And imagine if he had them on security camera footage. Now, if there's an individual agent that he that he finds on that camera, Trump, okay, in a legal and lawful and just manner, finds the, sees that the person is actually committing a crime or breaking guidelines, breaking protocol and guidelines. They can, he can probably, just like he did with Clinton and, and uh, I think, believe Clapper, uh, all of these people, McCabe, Comey, he can actually sue them personally, not just sue the Bureau, okay? If, if, he could only sue them personally if their actions correspond with um, text messages. So Peter Strzok said, we'll stop Trump. He was never videotaped by Trump. And so that's a huge issue here, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's an important issue. If you have the United States government after you and you've actually videotaped government officials or agents committing crimes on your property and and you can tie in. So if the Durham probe special counsel, for example, or uh, investigations within Congress very soon find that, that individual agents had not only animus towards Trump, but disdain and actually stated their intent to go after Trump, which would be beyond, like, which would, which would, it wouldn't be just protocol there. It, that would be a, a personal vendetta. He would probably sue them personally. The point, ladies and gentlemen, is that he's already sued all of these officials before. And he di didn't just sue the Bureau, he sued them personally. He can actually do the same thing if he finds that anyone has broken the law. Now, hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Hit subscribe to the um, H.A. Goodman's other channel. I'll be growing those channels definitely in September. Things are going to heat up September, October, November. It's going to be like, it's going to be like, not, not just election season. It's going to be, November is going to be a paradigm shift.
a, a complete and utter paradigm shift, ladies and gentlemen, in American politics. You'll have an impeachment of Biden. You'll have um, endless investigations of Hunter, Joe, impeachment, very likely Hillary or um, the Durham Probe Special Counsel pertaining to Clinton and the Steele dossier. We see a trial in October. Um, the Steele dossier subsource is on trial. So the informant, he almost certainly knows who the person is. The informant almost certainly has ties to the Clintons or ties to people who, who despise Trump. We already have um, like Andrew McCabe, for example, getting money from Virginia Democrats. He then recused himself last second from the Clinton email probe, then went after Trump and set up Michael Flynn. You have James Comey, who um, didn't find intent with Clinton when she had private servers running for four years that were secret, that nobody knew of, where she deleted half her communication. And nobody in the U.S. government had access to her emails, but she had access to emails within the highest level of classification or within, you know, the highest level of the U.S. government. She even emailed President Obama from her servers, okay? So that's, nobody knows how that server setup was created. And that's a huge risk to national security. I mean, an obvious risk to, net, a dilemma to national security. Comey couldn't find anything. You have people who the rule of law, it, or implement the rule of law to only towards Trump when they're accusing him of things he didn't do. When it's Democrats like Hunter or Hillary, no problem at all. Trump, what they've done is create this, this hysterical and apoplectic view that Trump is capable of anything, and because of all of those investigations, he's a criminal and he should serve time in prison, but nobody can name what he did. They can name what he's accused of, but they can't prove any allegations. Now, the security camera footage is very important. I'm going to keep talking about that. Let's just read about it really quickly. Um, Trump and his family watched FBI raid on security footage, lawyer claims. Despite former President Donald Trump's suggesting, suggesting agents may have planted evidence during their raid of his Mar-a-Lago resort this week. And so there you go. I mean, if if... That was the case. He would see that. But here, he and his family were able to see the whole operation on security camera footage one of his lawyers revealed Thursday. It's kind of funny. I think the folks in New York, President Trump and his family, probably had a better view than I did because they had CCTV. They were able to wa watch. Christina Watch told, okay, I, uh, I was, you know, I was stuck in the parking lot there to, you know, collect papers and answer questions. But they were actually able to see the whole thing. So they, have, they actually have a better idea of what took place inside. According to Bob, the FBI initially instructed Mar-a-Lago staff to turn off all the surveillance cameras in Trump residence. Why? Why would they do that? What? Just because they were told to do so? What was the? What's the point of that? Um, you're going into you're going into a location. You should be. You should have um, body cams anyway. Law enforcement should always. Uh, to protect the, the, the law enforcement official as well. But here, however, the 41st president's legal team ensured that they would remain operational. Uh, the cameras were only off for a short period of, well, there you go. That's not good. But it, anyway, uh, they only off for a short period of time. Since Monday's raid, Trump has repeatedly suggested that agents could have plant, planted incriminating information or evidence at his home, but his attorneys unable to observe the search. Um... And then you have everyone was asked to leave the premises. They wanted to be left alone without any witnesses to see what they were doing, taking, and hopefully not planting. Why did they strongly insist on having nobody watch them, everybody out? Uh, and then you have... Neither the former president nor members of his family publicly said they were able to. So... Bob's revelation came hours after Attorney General Garland said the Department of Justice wants to unsteal the search warrant... The Department of Justice was fighting um, that. But here, former president enthusiastically encouraged the un unsealing of the documents late Thursday. So they will eventually be unsealed. But here you have, it's very interesting because you have them, Trump and family watched the FBI search on New York closed circuit. So it's the same, pretty much this similar article. Trump said the family, meanwhile, saw the whole thing. 
or she said, the attorney, Miss Bob said, the, the family, meanwhile, watched the whole thing. Okay. Whether some of it was not recorded, most of it recorded, he has individual agents. And he can um, do what he did, sue these individual officials, which is what he did recently. One of the reasons that he, he one of the reasons I, I believe that Comey, Strzok, and McCabe were, were removed from the initial lawsuit is maybe he didn't have, they could, they could hide behind the fact that, well, the United States government was after Trump, and they were just doing what the United States government um, told them to do. They were just a government official, you know, conducting government business. But it ceases to be government business when you're committing a crime. If they committed a crime, I'm not saying that he will definitely sue these agents personally, but if they committed a crime, that's, it's very possible he uses that in the court of law against them and uses that in the court of law to defend against any bogus indictment. He didn't commit a crime, Democrats. You have Hillary and Hunter, like the epicenter of criminality with the foundation and, and his pay-to-play schemes with Joe, who met Hunter's business associates in the West Wing as vice president, forced out a prosecutor and said, you're not going to get a billion in loan guarantees after the email says, oh, please go ahead, or around the same time as the email stating, uh, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? Like, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together. Anyway, hit subscribe to this channel right now.